Caterpillar. For more than half a century, the name to trust for excellence in engine technology and dependability. And now, CAT presents the 3406 with PEAK. Programmable electronic engine control. After years of research, development, and road testing, PEAK represents Caterpillar's continuing commitment to lower owning and operating costs. Electronic control of the 3406 truck engine means better fuel economy and improved drivability. Plus, the owner can decide how his truck will be driven with features like road speed limiting and cruise control. Peak also offers progressive shifting limits and power takeoff governing without the cost of an add-on governor. The vehicle owner can spec the entire truck for optimum fuel economy. And Peak can be easily and quickly programmed to match changing operating conditions. For complete details, see your truck dealer or your Caterpillar dealer. Oh, I get it. Let's take a perfectly good engine, bolt on a lot of electronic junk onto it, and then just jack up the price, sit back and wait for the thing to break down in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Who needs it? I know, it scares me a little. Everywhere you look, they're hanging black boxes onto <laughs> things. Cars, trucks, they've even got computer-controlled toasters. Yeah. <laughs> Nuts and bolts, those I understand, but this computer stuff, man, I just don't know. Yeah, really. Come on, let's get out of here before that cat guy comes back. No, no, wait a minute, I want to get some more information. You know, Roger over at Acme Trucking just swears by these new engines. New? What's the matter with you? It's the same old engine. They just slapped on an overpriced governor. No, oh, it sounds like a little more than that to me. Besides, you don't even know what it costs. Roger says these new engines are going to save a bundle in fuel costs. Well, of course he does. What do you expect him to say? I made a big mistake? Come on. I swear anything new. Weren't you the last guy in the business to make the big mistake of switching to radial tires? Well, no, that, that was a little bit. And, and weren't you the guy who said this aerodynamic stuff, fairings and cab extenders, was just nonsense? You still don't have fairings on all your rigs, even though you know they save you money. That was a back order problem. Honestly, I don't know how you ever make any money. I think it makes good sense to take advantage of anything that's going to pay off in the long run. Hey, Steve, give me a break, will you? What are you, my accountant? No, I'm just your friendly competition. <laughs> Can I answer some questions for you fellas? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. And how come you took a good engine like the 3406 and hung a bunch of electronic stuff on it? What if I don't want all this Peak stuff? Well, you don't have to buy a Peak-equipped engine. It's an option on the 3406. But we designed it in because we think it makes a good engine even better. Yeah? What's this cost? Well, the Peak option? Well, that depends on the specific chassis you have in mind. Your truck dealer can give you a firm quote. What I can tell you is that the peak option will probably pay for itself in 18 to 24 months, depending on your drivers. What do you mean, depending on my drivers? Well, how much you save on your fuel bills, and when you start saving, is going to depend on how skilled and efficient your drivers are now. You see, peak allows you to spec your truck for the best fuel economy under specific conditions. And it does that by first controlling how the engine functions, and then by controlling how the truck is driven. Oh, well, how does it do that? Well, one part of the peak system controls how the fuel is burned and when inside the engine. It injects just the right amount at precisely the moment to give you your most complete combustion. It's actually more precise than any mechanical governor. And the second part is your vehicle control functions that keep the engine operating in that most fuel-efficient RPM range. Well, if you're talking about driving 40 miles an hour from New York to Salt Lake, you'll save fuel, but you won't have any drivers left. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Your top vehicle speed is an important consideration, but the real key is keeping those RPMs down. Come on over here, I'll show you what I mean. This is what we call the gear fast, run slow philosophy. You see, before electronics, Typical truck specs, the transmission rear axle ratio, the RPMs, the tire size, were all chosen to limit top vehicle speed to around 62 miles per hour. This meant that at cruising speed of 55, the engine's turning at 1800, 1900 RPM. But your best fuel economy comes when the engine is turning in that sweet spot on the power curve. And for the 3406, that's 1300 to 1500 RPM. So here the Cruising speed is the same 55 miles per hour, but the RPMs are much slower. And that's where you get your fuel economy. Yeah, but if I spec out a rig to run 1,300 RPM at 55, that means it will also do 75 miles an hour. And if it will run at 75, I got some guys who'll run it at 75 all day long. <laughs> that's the beauty of peak. You see, with programmable electronics, you can set your top vehicle road speed so that at cruising speed, your truck is operating in that most fuel-efficient range something you can't do with gear-bound specs. 
It lets you decide how the driver drives the truck. Oh, great. Well, my drivers are going to love this little number. You know how they're always begging me to teach them how to be better drivers? <laughs> this is going to solve all my problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, electronic engine control is going to take some getting used to. But it's really worth it for everybody in the long run. Give them some credit. They'll catch on. One thing I know your drivers are going to like about Peak is cruise control. It really cuts down on driver fatigue on those long hauls. And you can program the maximum and minimum speeds for cruise so you can be sure that it's only engaged on the open road. And I know your drivers are going to like how the 3406 performs with Peak. The combination of electronic injection timing control and the elimination of mechanical air fuel ratio control results in about a 10% improvement in acceleration and startability. Now that's enough for your drivers to notice. Our customers tell us the drivers like driving these peak units. Well, all that makes sense for a line haul operation, but half my trucks are doing pickup and delivery work. Some of them never get out past the suburbs. Well, that's where progressive shifting comes in. This chart over here compares standard and progressive shifting. This is the uh, engine RPM here and the vehicle speed on this axis. Now, I don't know about your drivers, but a lot of guys are accustomed to winding out each gear to the highest RPM before they shift up. But remember, at those high RPMs, you're burning more fuel. Well, hey, you got to get up to speed somehow. Right, but with progressive shifting, you use only as much horsepower and RPM as you need to get up to the next gear. A cat engine will give you plenty of torque to get that load up to speed, just as fast as by winding up, but at those lower RPMs, you use less fuel. Fine, but what does that have to do with your engine controller? Well, with Peak, you can actually program progressive shifting limits in the low and intermediate gears. Your engine performance can actually prompt your driver to use progressive shifting. And then at cruise speeds, Peak allows you to keep that driver in the highest gear and the lowest RPMs for the best fuel economy. Yeah, but it still sounds to me like whatever your computer does, a good driver could do himself. Well, for the most part, I think you're right. I hope your drivers are as concerned about your operation as you are. If they aren't, Peak can help. Of course, every operation is different. We can't give you any guarantees, but we figure with a fleet of average drivers, your savings in fuel mileage is going to be about 7%. And if your drivers are less motivated or less skilled, your savings can go higher. We've seen as high as 17%. And of course, Peak can do something for you that even the best drivers can't do. Like what? Like electronically measuring the operating environment. The what? Peak monitors things like the load, the speed, even the altitude, and then automatically adjusts the timing electronically to give you your best fuel consumption. It even monitors itself and lets you know if there's a part of the system that's not working. Oh, great. It even lets you know when it's broken down. A lot of good that's going to do you when it dies out in Onion Ring, Montana someplace. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Peak's designed to keep running, even with most malfunctions, so the driver can get on to the next stop. In fact, as long as you can control the engine speed, it's designed to allow limp home operation at reduced speeds. Listen, it won't get a chance to fail. I know drivers that'll figure out a way to fry your little computer before their first coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. They'll figure some way to short it out or, or just unplug it. And no, usually what they'll do is they'll park the rig at the top of a hill, run the battery all the way down, compression start the rig, off they go, and then bye-bye computer. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's where Peak is different. See, Peak is not just some add-on hardware. It's built right into the engine. It's both hardware and software. Easy to control, difficult to tamper with. In fact, the owner can establish passwords so that the parameters can only be changed with his say-so. How do you program the thing? Well, by using one of these two tools. We have two levels of diagnostic and programming tools. This one, designed specifically to go with Peak, so it's a little less expensive. And this one, which is expandable to other electronic products, so it costs a little bit more. But both of them do programming, troubleshooting, and sensor calibration. Who does it, the dealer? Well, that's up to you. You can have the dealer do it if you'd like, but if you want to program it yourself, it's oh, just yeah, a matter. Oh, yeah, I'll put one of my full-time computer programmers on it. <laughs> Actually, programming Peak isn't all that complex. And when it comes to reprogramming, you don't have to change chips or hardware or anything. You just need to give some thought to what you want the engine to do, how you want the truck to perform. Look, I understand what you mean about gearing a truck fast and running it slow and progressive shifting and cruise control speed and all that, but... That's all pretty complicated to figure out and be sure you got it right when you order a truck. Well, Peak does give you some choices to make about your engine that you haven't had to make before, but you don't have to exercise all the options. And we've come up with some guidelines that you can go over with your dealer that should make matters simpler. Also, we've written a computer program you can run on a personal computer that should simplify things. Let me show you. Basically, this program just asks you a few simple questions about your operation, whether you're a line haul operation or whatever. 
what your average gross is, what kind of equipment you run, whether it's tankers or vans, and whatever aerodynamic devices you might spec. And whether or not you've got radial tires, I'll bet. <laughs> right. And then the program produces a split chart that shows you all these operating specs, so you and your dealer can sit down and go through them, analyze them, decide what's best for you. This program is available at your dealership. You can sit there and play what-if games for as long as you like, comparing different combinations of drive lines and engine specs. You can come up with good peak specs in just a matter of a few minutes. That sounds pretty simple. But I'm still a little concerned about the reliability of electronics. Well, everybody has heard horror stories at one time or another, but Caterpillar's really got too much at stake here to introduce a lemon. This is one of the most tested products we've ever put on the market. It's logged over six million miles of real-world, on-the-road experience and proved itself to be more reliable than mechanical systems. Well, it seems like a step in the right direction. I like the fact that it's programmable. And if I can help my drivers get better fuel mileage, <laughs> that's something I can always use help with. We've got a friend who's running a few peak units already, and he's real happy with them, but uh, it only makes sense to me if it shows up on the bottom line. Well, absolutely. Your friend's experience is typical of the stories we're getting from all over the country. But as I said before, when it comes to the bottom line, your savings are going to vary depending on how good your drivers are right now. Peak's timing controls will start saving you money right off the top. And the vehicle controls will probably save you even more. Well, you've convinced me. How about you, Larry? Hmm? Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, keyboards, monitors, computers on engines. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Everything you guys have might be cat yellow, but, well, I'm afraid they're all still just black boxes to me. <laughs> don't mind him. He's still waiting to see if diesel will ever catch on for heavy trucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd be interested in talking with some other owners with Pete uh, Engines. Well, sure. If you have any business cards, um... I could put you on a list for the distribution. Of hey, Steve, what do you say we go over and talk to the blondes at the headlight booth, huh? <laughs> if you have questions about Peak or concerns about engine electronics in general, contact your local Caterpillar dealer or your truck dealer. They can give you full information on how Peak can save you money.